Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, before we start, you know, we have a, a Muslim in the chat. You always Muslims in the chat, they are heroes, but they don't dare to call me. But just to show you an example, actually this is perfect for our topic today. You know, Muslims always, they try to say that they are people who respect Jesus and they appreciate him and they believe he's a prophet. But the Muslim, they do not hesitate to insult Jesus non-stop, 24 hours, 7 days a week, all their life. And actually, the chat in the front of you is an example. Let me show you. This is a Muhammadan. Just now, he just posted this. I just came to go live, and I saw this. Jesus used the toilet, poo-poo. Jesus used the toilet, poo-poo Jesus. Obviously, not God. First of all, you coward, you son of Muta. Can you show me where Jesus used the toilet? Secondly, can you prove to me that your God Allah, your God Allah, he don't use the toilet? Number three, is it true that your prophet, when he used the toilet, the earth opened her mouth and swallow his poo, poo Is that because he's God and his poo, poo is holy? So the Muslim, they throw things which is absolutely false, for they love to insult Jesus. And look how stupid and how low they are when they speak about Jesus. He tried to prove to you that Jesus is not God. How? Jesus did poo, poo Can you show me where it says Jesus did poo, poo I would love to see it. And you just say it. Not only that, look like this Muslim, he knew even how Jesus did it. Look, this Abdul, he said, <clears throat> God does not use bathroom the way Jesus did. Can you show us the way Jesus did? I can show you that when Muhammad do poo, poo the companion used to surround around him and he used to teach them how to do shit. No shit, brother. Here we go. This is the hadith, as long as you mention it. The hadith says that they said to the Muslims, your prophet, he teach you everything, including how to do shit. He said, yes. Hatta al-khara. Now, can you show me where Jesus did poo, poo and the way he did it? <laughs> and actually this is what our topic today about you know uh, uh, look at this this is a hadith I see that your friend teach you about the ex experiment you see the Muslim trying to be uh, trying to change the words in Arabic in Arabic it says literally how to do shit and he's not insulting. He is noticing that Muhammad, he sit in the middle and the Muslim is surround around him and Muhammad is telling them how to do shit. Now, did Allah teach Muhammad how to do shit and he did it once in front of him so Muhammad he learned? I will be waiting for you to tell me how Muhammad he learned how to do the correct shitting so the Muslims will shit as Muhammad shit. I'm waiting for you. Elias, are you there? Because how Muhammad, he teach you how to do it unless he taught by Allah how to do it. And the only way for Muhammad to learn it is to see it. And now Elias is dead. He's gone. He don't dare to show us what he said. He don't dare to prove what he said. He is just a potato following a shitty prophet. Uh, and I like it when the Muslim they try to make a, a sound different, say ex experiment, you know, experiment. What is that? In Arabic, it says, يعلمكم الخراء. Read it. How to do shit, literally. And I never heard of a prophet, he teach people how to do shit. And not only that, you're a prophet, he insists that the Muslim, he clean his anus with the three rocks. Did you see it? And look at the translation. It says in, in, English, in Arabic, three rocks. What the Muslim, they translate? And now Elias is dead, he is not there. 
you know, this is an example actually. Like our today, our topic. Uh, I opened YouTube and I saw advertising from Shabir Ali. Advertising about the Christmas. I mean, why the Muslim want to pay and make video paid advertising? You know, this is cost a lot of money. Why they want to do advertising video about Christmas? This is the video of Shabir Ali. You can go and watch it. It's called, I have it in the info, Navigating Christmas as a Muslim, Dr. Shabir Ali. And they have a very nice, uh, funny uh, uh, image. And Shabir Ali trying to make himself look like he is a Santa Claus, but a Pakistani version, you know? And Santa Claus, the Muslim, he is telling the Muslims, uh, yeah, some scholar they say we should not say Merry Christmas. Some they say we can. Uh, for me, uh, you know, Christians like in Canada, we have a lot of harmony. And Christians, they say to us, Happy Eid. So I don't see a problem to say to them, Happy Merry Christmas. So, you know, like the sound, the, the message sounds fine. There is no problem. But the question is, why even this is a topic? Why even the Muslims, they are saying, we cannot say Merry Christmas. Why even, even we need to tell them you can? In the same time, Muslims don't agree with him. This is just a propaganda. This is why it's paid. So he can fool non-Muslims. Muslims agree with him. We should lie to Christian and say to them, Merry Christmas. This is called taqiyya. As long we are weak, and we are not the majority, we cannot tell them that we are Muslims been taught to do war and do jihad and Christians are the cattle, the Quran call us cattle. Why Shabir Ali don't tell people that we are cattle? I made a comment in his video, my comment disappeared in less than four minutes. What happened to Elias is gone. Did I hurt your feeling or you are going to watch how your prophet do it? Hmm? Yeah, well, you know, my friend, I can show you. You see, here we go. This is a great example how Muslim, they are the enemy of Jesus. Look what this guy, he said. When a Muslim, he says to you, we believe in Jesus and we respect Jesus. There is nobody who respect Jesus will say what he is saying. Be my witness. It's in front of you in the, in the chat. I could just imagine CP wiping Jesus poopoo in his face yuck. In fact, I can show you the hadith where you Muslims drinking the piss of your prophet. I'm not going to say yuck because you are the same as his piss. He did not make you dirty. You are more dirty than his piss because only people of dirt will drink piss and not only that even your prophet he order you to drink the piss of the camel and not only that i can show you even a video made by the muslims movie that the muslim they were fighting over the poopoo of the camel of aisha my jesus the one you are insulting you coward according to your quran he was called holy chapter 19 verse number 19 so how he is dirty, because this is what you are trying to say, Christian Prince, while being the poo of who? Of Isa, no problem. <clears throat> but isn't it, this is your stupid Quran? Look like your God Allah did not make a correct statement about Jesus. He is a stupid like you. He think that Jesus is holy, but according to you, no, Jesus is not holy. And remember, Jesus was holy when he was an infant. Now, if we ask Muslims, the Isa, the infant, do he do do he do poo poo? Infant. How come your God Allah He is saying that this is a holy son for an infant? So the Muslims not only they insult Jesus because they hate Christianity, but they spit at their God because their God get them busted. Now we know that their God, he hate Jesus too, but their God, he have to use the name of Jesus so he can break the line, so he can penetrate Christianity and he can deceive as many as he can. But you cannot do that with us. I am a Christian prince and I'm here to spank your God with no mercy. So as you see, Jesus in the Quran is a holy son. Muhammad never been called holy, not even once in the Quran.
In fact, the Quran says that may Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad. May Allah. And here you ask yourself in chapter 48, verse number 2, while Jesus forgiving sin, wherever he goes, Muhammad, his God, saying to his God, may Allah forgive your sin. May Allah forgive your sin. Do you see it? In the same book, Jesus is holy. Chapter 19, verse number 19. In the same book, Muhammad is a fraud. And not only that, Allah is asking other Allah, may Allah forgive your sin in the past and in the future. How many times we heard the Muslim saying, that the Pope of the Catholic, he gave a document for the Christians to go to heaven to forgive their sin, which is false, by the way. There's nowhere is such a thing. But this is actually in the Quran, in the front of your eyes, a license for sin. But you know, Allah cannot grant it because Allah, he have another Allah. This is why we see Allah saying, may Allah, that may Allah, that, that the word here is a supplication, it's a wish. <coughs> We ask the Muslims who is talking, they will say Allah, okay? How Allah, he says, may Allah forgive your sin. Allah making supplication to who? This is a big poo of Muhammad. Muhammad, he make Quran always. He make the Quran to fit with him. You know, he want to clean his image. He want to shine his image. For he is a terrorist. He is a criminal. He is a child molester. So, you know, he want to be like, okay, you know what? You know me. You know everything about me. Uh, you know, scam back. So now, listen carefully. Allah said to me, may Allah forgive your sin in the past and the future. So Muhammad is not even repenting. He is claiming that his God, he said to other God, may Allah forgive your sin in the past and the future so he can do sin as he wish. In the same time, going back to uh, Shabir Ali, If we search in YouTube <coughs> about can Muslims do uh, say Merry Christmas, if we search in Google, we will find a million videos saying no, haram, haram. You know, have you ever seen a Hindu or the Hindus are busy saying, can we say Merry Christmas to the Christians? They don't. Only Muslims. Have you seen a Buddha saying, should we or should not? <laughs> so the question, why only Muslims? They cannot. The answer is very simple. Islam is a religion of hate. Because Islam is a satanic, hateful religion, and the Muslim being taught to hate the Christians, this is why, based on the hate background of this religion, the Muslim, they cannot say to you, Merry Christmas. They hate you. How they can say to you, Merry Christmas? They hate your Jesus. They hate your God. They hate your Bible. They hate your cross. They hate your church. And they will say to you, Merry Christmas. If we search right now in Google, Can a Muslim say Merry Christmas? Oh, this is different. Hold on. Let us see Merry Christmas. This is. Uh. Zakur, Zakura. Can a Muslim say Merry Christmas? Absolutely, Haram. Huh? Haram, brother Haram. Like we search for Merry Christmas, we see the word Merry. I don't know what happened with, with you with YouTube.
Can a Muslim say Merry Christmas? <clears throat> Let us see. Wishing, can I say Merry Christmas? Can I say Merry Christmas? Can I say Merry Christmas? Go watch them all and you will see how much this religion hate you. How do I respond to Merry Christmas, this guy is saying? He's in trouble, he's a Muslim. And now somebody says to him, Merry Christmas, what I should do? Can I say that to him back? But the question is, why? Why they are in trouble? What is the problem? What is the, exactly the issue? The issue is very simple. Islam teach hate against everyone not a Muslim. You know, why Shabir Ali, when he speak about uh, sympathy, like the Christians are nice to us, so we should be nice to them back. Well, thank you very much. Sound good. So how come you don't practice that when you were in Pakistan? How come in Pakistan you treat the Christians as like animals? You kidnap their women, you burn them alive, you kill them, you take their children. But in Canada, you speak about how, you know, we Muslims with the Prophet taught us to be nice. The Prophet taught you to be nice. I post a comment under Shabir Ali video, but he took it off in a few minutes. I said to him, I dare you to read chapter 5, verse 51. This is the reason you cannot say to them Merry Christmas. This is why you cannot even wish them something good. The Muslims, when they pray five times a day, they curse us and they curse the Jews five times a day. The first thing in the morning, a Muslim, before even he wash his face, he have to curse you. He read the chapter of Al-Fatiha saying, please Allah, don't make us like the lost Christians or the cursed Jews. He can't even pray to his God without insulting us. When a Muslim, he come to you and he try to give you a shiny face of Islam, and this is the purpose of this paid advertising, trying to make Islam look better. But Islam is a religion of terrorism. No matter what famous people say, no matter what your false presidents say, no matter who quote Muhammad, like the filthy Joe Biden, or George Bush are all the hypocrite liars. The Quran even forbid the Muslims to love their own family if they are not Muslims. Their own family why? What is the problem? For Islam is a hate, satanic religion. If we can call it a religion. Chapter 58, verse number 22, it says the following. And as you see, this is their translation, not mine. Everything we say to you is coming with the proofs of details and confirmation. Oh, you Muhammad, you will not find any people who believe in Allah. And the last day, making friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. 
And who is the one who oppose Allah and the Messenger? Anyone don't accept Muhammad as a Messenger. And Allah as God. And we know that the, the true God of Islam is, is Muhammad. You know, Allah is just a sex toy. Muhammad, he insert it when he want. He take it off when he want. Sometimes have a battery, sometimes doesn't have a battery. Depend in his, his needs. So you, Muhammad, you will not find any people who believe in Allah. In the last day, making friendship with those who oppose Allah. In fact, this is a false translation. It says you are duna, not only friendship. What friendship? Those are their families. You will see soon, like when you read the verse, the rest of it, you will see we are talking about their own families. What friendship? Do you, do you need to make a friendship with your mom? I changed the translator. Look what happened. I just changed the translator. I did not change the book. Though will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger. Even, even though they were their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. For such he has written faith in their heart. And by the way, this verse in the Quran proving Islam to be fraud. Why? Allah, he said, you will not find one believer. You will not find one, just one. Between the believers, he will be good to the Christians, to the Jews, to the... Anyone. He's not a Muslim. You will not find one. Somebody, some Muslim might say to you, oh, this is talking about those who oppose Islam. Oppose Islam is all the world who don't believe in Islam. This is why the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29 says, Fight those people of the book who don't believe Allah. What is the reason to find them? Because they don't believe in Allah. And he is a prophet and the last days. And they forbid as Allah he forbid. Those are the ones who oppose Islam. Why? They don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in the last day of Muhammad. They don't believe in what is forbidden by Muhammad. They don't acknowledge the religion of Islam. Those are the one, the enemy of Islam. So when Shabir Ali, he come with his lies, paid advertising, it just to deceive your children. If a Muslim, he cannot be friend to his own family, his own mother, he cannot be loving to his parents if they are not Muslims. How a Muslim like Shabir Ali coming to us and giving us a speech that Muslim should be like a, a, a sympathy with the Christians. What kind of message, Shabir Ali, you have? Why you are lying? Why you don't give the true Islam to the Canadian people? Paid advertising, aren't you ashamed? Paid advertising. Because the moment you say Merry Christmas, that means you are agreeing to everything Christian do in Christmas. He's saying some scholar, they say that. <laughs> well, this is very funny, by the way. In the second you say Merry Christmas, that means you're agreeing about everything the Christian they do in Christmas. What Christian do in Christmas? That's weird. He's saying he don't say that. He's saying some they say that. According to Islam, a Muslim cannot say Assalamu Alaikum. Shabir Ali, wherever he go, he say, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. He tried to present Islam as friendly religion. But if we go and check the reality, Muhammad, he said, لا تبدأ اليهود والنصارى Let us see. Don't 
initiate salam to the Christians and the Jews salam, which means shalom. Even this word is a story from us. And not only that, when you see a Christian in the street, force him to walk in the sewage. Why Shabir Ali in his program, I'm trying to find this hadith in English, give me a second. Why Shabir Ali in his very sympathetic, uh, sim, uh, uh, sim, like a sympathy, uh, harmony, you know, when you hear those people, you think this, those people, they believe in mercy, love, they are... You know, there is no Al-Qaeda and there is no ISIS and their prophet did not chop the heads of thousands and thousands, did not rape women, he did not kidnap the Christians, he did not kill the Jews, he did not rape Christian women, he did not rape non-Muslims. The whole idea of a paid advertising, they are looking for a stupid ones between us so they can fool him. Is that their prophet saying, when you see a Christian, don't greet the Jews and the Christians before they greet you? And when you meet one of them in the road, force them to the most narrow alley. The Muslim, they feel himself that Islam make them superior. So you as a Christian, you should say, Shalom, 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 you know, like, like as if you are a dog. He say to you, and you can respond as you wish. However, you have to force him. You have to harm him. You see the translation here says the narrowest part of, of it. What is the narrowest part of the, There is a road. The road is a road. There is a narrow part, a part of road. There is a sewage. There is a low ground in the side of the road where the dirty water in the town run. So a Muslim, he have a duty to force the Christian to walk in the sewage. Yet Shabir Ali is giving us a speeches about Islam and the Prophet told us to be nice. We are wonderful people. We love everybody. Right? Free Kaka Kuta saying, we don't say Merry Christmas because we neither believe nor celebrate your ungodly holiday. Well, look who is talking about godly holiday, a black stone kisser, and the stone is in the shape of a vagina. However, I have a surprise for you. What about you call me, and I will show you that your God celebrate the birth of Jesus in your Quran. Do you dare? Black stone kisser who talking about ungodly, is it godly to kiss a stone in the shape of a vagina? Is it godly to marry a child she is six years old? Is it godly to go to your son's house and take the wife from your son and flirt with her when the husband is not there? Look who is talking about godly. A black stone kisser. Somebody saying, would you befriend an atheist? I friend everybody. In fact, we as a Christians, we should befriend everybody. Why not? Isn't it the Bible says go and teach and preach everybody? So if we say they are atheist or they are pagan or they are, you know, uh, whatever they are, if we say we cannot, you know, we cannot be good to them, then why we want to go to them and preach to them and bring them to Christ and do miracles in the name of Jesus and do charity and save them and feed them. Number one charity in the world, which feeding non-Christians are Christians. When Muslims, they run for their life, they come to Christian countries. They don't go to Saudi Arabia. They don't go to Indonesia. In fact, Bangladesh and Indonesia, they kicked out. The Muslims from Miramar out of their land. While the Christians, they opened their countries and they took millions of Muslim refugees. And you are talking, do you be a friend? 
And why the Muslims are running away from their country? Because Muslims killing Muslims. Because Muslims are peaceful. Now, I challenge this coward who says, we cannot celebrate your Christmas. It's ungodly. Call me. My Skype is open and I will show you your God celebrating Christmas. Who dare? Who is a Muslim? This is why the Muslim, by the way, don't dare to debate me because I get them busted from their book. Muhammadan, they are people who do not know their religion. They have a big mouth and they have a dirty bathroom and we have all their laundry. And because they knew we have all their laundry, they don't dare to call us. Anyone? And godly Christmas. Look who is talking about ungodly. Huh? What is godly for a Muslim? Do you want me to show you what is godly? Let us show you some of the godly. Allah, he made the verse for the prophet saying, why? Why you tell the guy? You know, keep your wife for you when Allah told you you have her. Look at this religion, brother, godly. Allah have a conversation with his prophet. Why? Why you scum back are being hypocrite? You want to F this woman, excuse my language. But when the husband come to you, because now he heard that you are sleeping with her already, and you flirt with her, as even the wife told him. When the man, he came to him and he said to him, you know, because he's his father. Imagine the son is speaking to his father and the father want to F his wife. And the God is saying to Muhammad, why? Why, man? Just take her, man. Just take her to bed. What's wrong with you? So look, behold. Behold, dude, say to the one who had received the grace of Allah and the favor, retain though in would log the wife. Allah saying to Muhammad, why you say to the man, keep your wife, man? Have you ever heard of a God? He want a man, he encourage a man to divorce his wife so Muhammad can F her every day. This is what the verse is saying. Behold, huh? And by the way, this translation is false. There's no behold. The Quran is a very, you know, scumbag language. What behold? And when you say to the one who Allah, he gave him the grace, what the grace he gave him? Godly is worshiping only one God. That is one of the most funny thing because the Muslims, they say we worship one God, but the second we ask them who is their God, they have no idea. And I, I have my challenge for you. The one who says the word potato, you're trying to copy me now? I have copyright over the word potato. I am the one who call you potato. And let us see who is the potato. Challenge in front of everybody. My Skype is open. And I challenge you even to tell us who is your God. Have you ever people heard of a religion? Not a single one of them knows who is Allah. You ask them who you worship. They say Allah. We said, well, Allah. He said, God. I said, okay, who's Allah? He is God. Okay, well, no, listen. Who is Allah? Uh, he is God. What the heck? Idiot. I know that you worship a God. His name is Allah. I'm asking you who is Allah? They don't know. All of what they know that this God has five fingers. By the way, he don't, don't have any. I broke them all. He have a shin. And by the way, he have two shin now because I break them. And he have an ass. Why Allah have an ass? We don't know. And he sit in a chair. Why he sit in the chair? And he is a person who have a back. And even the prophet put his hand between his back. Any Muslim can tell us? I'm waiting for you to tell me who is Allah.
You know nothing about this God you worship. Even the name, you do not know what Allah means. Okay, who is a Muslim can't tell me what Allah means? You know. <laughs> Everything you have is a theft from other culture, from other religion, from other country. Not a single Muslim knows what Allah means. Yesterday we have Abdul who called me from Indonesia, if you remember, and he, you know, the Muslim, they claim that Allah is the only one God. But the second we say to them, why Allah, he says, if we like to take a partner, we will take it from us. Who is us? Not a, not nada, not a Muslim in the world can answer that question. Allah want to take a partner from us. Us who? Those people, they keep saying to us, we believe in one God. Okay. If you believe in one God, how does God, he says, if you want to take a wife, we will take her from us. Us who? Are you there, Mr. Godly? Have you ever heard of a God who get married? I mean, even saying that statement is stupid. The verse saying, had we intended, we, are you there, Mr. Uh, what's your name? Free, uh, what? The funny, he's a, he's a Muslim, he is a slave of Allah, and he called himself a free. Since when a Muslim is a free? You are a slave of the devil, Allah. Y even your prayer is not up to you. You have to pray in a certain time. You don't pray willingly. How you call yourself a free? You are just a free potato in my present. Who is a Muslim can tell us the godly Allah who is one God he is saying we and who is the godly who want to marry and he call himself God yet he says if we like to take a wife or a son i.e. etc we would have taken it from us taking it from us how many us we have Remember, he's talking about taking a partner. So the Muslim cannot say he meant himself. Otherwise, Allah would be a transgender. He is going to have sex with himself. Any Muhammadan? My friends, the Muslims are driven by the evil Muhammad and we are here to help them we don't we are not here to speak against Muslims we are here to speak against the garbage of Muhammad those people they are victims of the criminal Muhammad they are literally victims you will not find one Muslim there to criticize Muhammad. You know, Muhammad is a perfect man. I mean, have you ever heard of a perfect man unless he is God? If there is any man is perfect, Muslims? Yes, yes, Muhammad. Ask them, do you believe Muhammad is a human? Hey, Muslim, who want to answer me? Do you believe Muhammad is a human? They say, yeah, 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 he's a human. So why you keep saying he is a perfect? And if you say he is not perfect, then you, why you don't criticize things he did? As long as he's not perfect, that means there's something wrong. Who dare to criticize the criminal, the terrorist Muhammad? Nobody. Somebody says in the chat, 
He is a prophet. Will I challenge you to show me the prophecy of Muhammad? Here we go, the Quran in front of you, zero prophecy. All the prophecies he said, they come to be true, zero. In fact, all of them, they come the opposite. Muhammad, he told the Muslims, 100 of you can fight 200. After what? After they went to war and he told them that one of you can fight 10. He prophesied that one can fight 10. The Muslim, they went to war, they got spanked. As soon as he came, they came back, Muhammad, he changed the verse and he said to them, you know what? Allah, he just told me that he knew, he found that you have a weakness. So he lightened your task. It's a task. And here you ask yourself, as long as this is a task given by Allah, does it matter what the number is? Do you understand what I'm saying? If God, he gave a task and he promised me victory, does it matter really how many we are? We are going to win anyway, right? Because if God is with me, who could be against me? The Bible says. And Muhammad, he stole the same phrase and he put it in the Quran too. If Allah is with you, you will be victorious. If he forsake you, you will be a loser. So when Allah, he promised them victory in chapter 8, verse number 65. Have you ever heard of God? He found for the present. Allah has lightened your task for he knew that there is a weak spot in you. Why he did not know it here when he gave it to them in the, in the morning? He made a discovery. He just received an email. Do we have any brave Muhammad and he dared to text me in Skype so I can call you immediately? As you see, this cult, they don't know who is their God. They do not know what their religion is about. They are just programmed. They do five prayer. They wear certain clothes. They say certain words, but they have no idea what they believe in. Not a single Muslim knew what he believed in. They keep repeating the same thing. We believe one God. Tawheed, brother, Tawheed. But Tawheed in Arabic means unification. You stupid. How you claim that you are a person who believe in one person and then you use the word Tawheed. Who is the donkey who told you that the word Tawheed present one person? Tawheed mean unification, unifying parts. If something is already one, we cannot use the word Tawheed for. As an example, Tawheed al-Duwar al-Arabiya, unification of the Arab countries. The second you say Tawheed, you are talking about unification. So if Allah won, unify him by doing what? Adding glue? What happened? Allah, he broke. <laughs> okay, maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see. We are calling him. Hello? Yeah, most, mostly Fakira, son of Muta. I mean, even the one who called us, he gave the F word to his prophet. Can you believe it? A Muslim from Senegal, he said the F word to his prophet. They have no dignity. Do we have any real Muslim who don't want to say the F word to his prophet? Someone he loved his prophet. 
And you will notice that the Muslims, the number of Muslims who they are rejecting, the Islamic teaching is getting bigger. They claim that they are still believers. So what they say, oh, I believe only in the Quran. And then now, not only that, they say, no, I don't accept any interpretation for the Quran. I, I do interpretation by myself. So they reject their prophet explaining the Quran. They reject the scholars explaining the Quran. And now they want to come with their own explanation, but they don't even speak Arabic. And they accept that the Quran is corrupted. And they accept that their prophet, he disobey Allah. So the number of those who they are going apostate is big. According to Muslims, those who, and we don't say Muslim, we are saying the one, they are Muslims, the one, the traditional Muslim, not those potatoes. Uh, the one who don't accept the hate of the Prophet of Allah, he is an apostate. Do we have any Muslim? And you know, anytime somebody he says to you, he don't accept the hadith, ask him, what's your Prophet full name? Because you know, the, the funny thing about this religion, this Quran this is empty. The Quran say Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad who? Muhammad. Okay, Isa. Isa who? Where this Isa was? Where is what Abraham mean? And where he is coming from? Israel. Who is Israel? Suddenly the Quran say the word Israel, but doesn't say. Who is this guy? So the Quran is an empty book, totally empty book. Uh, hold on. Uh, free uh, Kakuta, he says, just to show you that Muslims are really ignorant, whatever the word mean, you know, ignorant, totally ignorant. Look what this guy, he just said, be my witness. I said that the Muslims are slaves, they don't have a free will, and they are victims. So look what he said. You said Muslims are victims. No, we are not victims. And we choose to worship Allah, S-A-S-W-T, which is funny to say that, with all our heart and our free will. And it is it pleases us 100% where well, you just gave your prophet a finger. Here we go. This is your prophet. He says you are a liar. It is not you who choose to be a Muslim. <laughs> this is your Quran saying that Allah, when He created you in your mother womb, He decide what you will be, good or bad, bad deed or good deed, going to heaven or going to hell. But you said to me that we have a free will and we choose happily to be Muslims. Is it your prophet? He said that what we show you in the screen. Is that your prophet saying that and all of this is Sahih? In this hadith here in front of us, not only you don't have a free will, not only your God say that you are a slave, it says what is written by Allah will take over and you go to hell, even if you are working to go to heaven. Read carefully. This is your prophet. Are you going to say your prophet is an idiot? When Allah, he created you, you will be in the form of a sperm in, the, in your mother womb for 40 days. And by the way, this is scientifically to be true. <laughs> only donkeys believe in that. 40 days as a semen. Look like Muslim, they have a semen made of rocks. And look at the, the way that Allah, he created the baby. It's funny, it's hilarious. But then the most funny is our topic now, he says. And then the angel, he will come. Allah will send an angel who breathed life into it. And the angel is commanded to record four things about it. Four things about your life. Provision, its term in life, in the world, 
it is conduct and whether will be happy or miserable by one beside whom there is no true God verily one of you would perform the action of the dwellers of Jannah which mean heaven until there is only one cubit between him and heaven and then what is written by Allah for ordinate would come to pass and he would perform the action of the inmate of hell until he entered. Do you see it, potato? Do you see it? You did lie or you were ignorant. I will let it go. I will say you are an ignorant like the rest of the Muslims. You claim that you choose when the your prophet saying no, you are not. Even your deed is not a choice. There is a video of Mufti Mink. <laughs> Mufti Mink, he was talking about destiny. You can replay the video many times, but I'm avoiding you know, playing the video so they don't flag it. Uh, he said that the Caliphate, they, they arrested a thief and they brought the thief for him. So the thief, he said to the Caliphate, why you want to punish me? For something Allah He ordained for me before the creation, before my creation. Allah He ordained for me before my creation. Mufti Mink, he continues saying, the caliphate was, he out of smarter person, he was like smarter. He said to him, well, it was destined for me to punish you. <laughs> This is Islam. Why you want to punish me for a sin it is written for me to do? What is the answer? It is ordained for me to punish you. It was destiny too. It was destiny for you to be a thief. It was destiny for me to punish you. This is Islam. I'm trying to remember the name of the video uh, of Mufti Mink. I will not play it, but you can watch it. We played here many times, if you remember. I forgot to read what was the title. Uh, maybe somebody can find it. <laughs> so this is the truth Muslims do not have predestiny even an infant Muhammad even he said an infant if he die and he is a child of a Muslim family he might still go to hell Why? Why an infant he might go to hell? <coughs> yeah, we have a person, he called himself Exposing Christian Prince. Let us see this guy, he's going to expose me. Maybe it's Fakir again. Read carefully with me. <laughs> Muhammad, he went to a funeral and he found, you know, his wife uh, making a statement after they came back. She said a happiness will be for this child. He will be a bird among the birds of paradise. Why Aisha, she is saying that? He's an infant. He did not commit sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. And this is very authentic hadith, as you see. What Muhammad, he said to her, 
تم بيس تشبت عائشة بتهيتو it might be the other way do you see it it might be the other way an infant he might go to hell he is born of a Muslim family Muhammad he claimed in the different hadith that everyone including me and you are born as Muslims Yet he claimed that an infant he might go to hell. But Aisha, she said, but he did not go commit sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. But Muhammad, he explained to the stupid Aisha, he said to her, you stupid. It's a predestiny. In Islam, everything is a predestiny. So when this guy, he called himself a free whatever, he is just being a stupid. He did not know his religion. It's predestiny. Allah, he wrote. Who will go to hell? Or who will go to heaven when this person is not even created yet? It's a destiny. So he commits sin, he don't commit sin, who care? And this is, in fact, is a clear proof that Islam is satanic teaching. Why? Because this is against the nature of God. God is just. Do we agree, guys? Do we agree that when we say God, God should be just? Why he want to send the child he did not commit sin? To hell, what? Hell is for people who commit sin. Doesn't make sense. But in fact, in Islam, everyone who commits sin, he did not commit sin by his choice. So, which mean, Allah is evil when he sent people to hell if he is God because he made them commit sin and now he will punish you for what we made you do. This religion is stupid. Somebody is saying like Calvinism, what does this have to do with Calvinism? I'm saying you go to hell. You said Calvinism. You go to hell, you stay in hell forever. You say Calvinism? Calvinism. And by the way, those who spend their day talking about Calvinism, obviously they have nothing to do in their life. Like a grandmother, she is 110 years old and she, she is looking for a cartoon. They are being like the Muslims, you know, they have nothing in life. Drinking tea, the Ramadan, sleeping afternoon, doing boom boom, praise be to Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Calvinist believe in Jesus so what if you believe in Jesus but where you come with this Calvinist stuff anyone who tried to take the place of God he do not know what God is about are you going to tell God what he will do in the day of judgment none of your business what God will do is what God will do. If you, if you believe that God is fair and justice, then don't go and waste your time and the time of others with your stupid philosophy. God will do what is just. That is the Bible answer. When Jesus, he come in his glory with the glory of his angels over the cloud, he is going to punish who deserve to be punished. And he will reward those who deserve to be rewarded. The rest is none of your business. So those who claim to be Christians and they spend their day talking about philosophy, and maybe God will give us in the oven for a few days for the sin we did. No, I think God, he will give us a Vaseline because he don't like to burn us. Those are the silly ones of us. They are being like the Mohammedan. They have no job to do and they have no life. Who define what is just? Very simple. You do not need to define it. Just is to deserve what you get. And you get what you deserve. There's no need to define. I mean, even just 
need a special define? We are talking about God who knows everything you did, and He is the one who put the law for you. If there is a better just judge to judge you, do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? <clears throat> Nobody. Do you see how stupid this religion is? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan want to help us? Hmm. I texted you where are Muslim kids going according to your Bible? Why you are ignoring? Why are you text me? Tamsir. Okay, pause it here. I did not see any text. You text me where? This guy, he said he texted me. I texted you where are Muslim kids going to according to your Bible. Okay, show me, go again. Don't tell me I texted you. What text me where? Post it here. Stop crying like a baby. He texted you. Where? I have nothing in my, my Skype. And here we go. The chat is open for you. Go ahead. Stop your drama. And by the way, the Muslim now he is angry. He said, I texted you what the Bible says about Muslim kids. But in the Bible, there is nothing is called Muslim kids, you idiot. You are just a pagan person. We don't even recognize you. You are just a pagan. You are just a black stone kisser. And look what happened to you. We show you what your prophet said about your kids. You go and you say, eh, your Bible says about Muslim kids. My Bible is so clear, he says, whoever believe in me and live and die will live. A child, he did not get a chance to believe or not to believe why he will be punished. You are just a silly person. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Actually, Jesus, he said, if you don't become like those little ones, if, if you, you need to become like them so you can go to heaven. This is what Jesus said. Uh, another Muslim saying, you worship Jesus at Trinity, pagan needed counsel uh, uh, to change your book, need in, in, in New Testament. You see, the Muslims are a bunch of liars because the counsel of Nicaea or Nicaea was not to discuss the Trinity. It was to discuss when Jesus, how Jesus came to exist. So the Muslim, when they speak even about Christianity, they show us again their ignorance. 
for the debate was not if Jesus was part of the Trinity or he is in the Trinity. The debate was not if Jesus was God or not. The debate was when Jesus came to exist. Is he exists before time or exists in certain time? That's all. <laughs> Liar. Same time, you worship a pagan trinity. Look who is talking. I find it fascinating when a Muslim speak about paganism, those who worship Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. If there is no Muhammad, there is no Islam. If there is no Jibreel, there is no Islam. If there is no Allah, there is no Islam. So all of Islam is based on three, the three miskatir. The guy with the penis, Mr. Muhammad, who go and if his wives, all of them in one night, and the Muslim, they make books about it. Mr. Jibreel, who squeezed Muhammad like a mayonnaise, still he could not make him read. And Allah, which nobody saw. So can you explain to me why Islam is based on three? If you are not a Trinity person. Muslim do not worship angels or prophet. No, you do. You are a liar. Here we go. Actually, the, the hadith I showed you. Guys, who is the one who create babies? Who is the one who give them life according to Islam? I will wait for the Muslim to give me the answer. Is it Allah or the angel? Listen carefully to the question just to show you how pagan they are. Who is the one who give life in Islam? To babies. Allah or shit or, or angels? Who is a Muslim when I answer us? Are you going to search Google? Shouldn't you say right away, it's Allah? I mean, do you even need to think about it? Who is the Muslim? Can you give me the answer? Who is the one who give life to the babies when they are in the womb of their mother, Allah or angels? Who is the one who breathe the spirit into the babies? Allah or the angels? Look at the Muslims, suddenly they are dead. Oh, the battery is off now. It's not working. Hmm. The only one have answer is Fakira. <clears throat> I'm waiting. Who is the one? I want the Muslim to answer me. Who is the one who give life? Breathe life. Allah or the angels? Hello? Fakira. Yeah. Are you there, Fakira? Yeah. His mother must be, she gave birth to him in the bar. Right away he said the F word. Who is a Muslim can give me the answer? Who is the one who breathed life to the baby in the womb of his mother? God or angels in Islam? Look at them. What happened? They are dead? I mean, why this answer is so hard? Shouldn't all of them say right away, Allah? What happened to this guy and that guy? And what happened? Why nobody is answering? Where is the Abdul? Who is the one who breathed life into the baby in the mother womb? Allah or the angels? No answer. Do you see the cowards? Do you know why they did not answer? Because guess what? According to Muslims, the one who gave a creation is the angel. Can you believe it?
the one who breathed life and the source of life is not coming from Allah it's coming from angels so who is God Mr. Free look free is here but free is ignoring my question free you have no answer free are you there you're still alive, my friend. So why you are talking to everybody except me? I'm waiting. Who is the one who give life to babies in Islam when they are in their womb, the mother womb? Is it Allah who breathed the life into the child, the, the, inf, the, the fetus, or it is the angels? Who is the Muslim when I answer? Can you believe it? Those pagan, they believe that you are created by angels. Read with me. And I can show it to you from the Quran and even from the Hadith. This is Muhammad. He is telling us how the baby is created. All those Hadith in front of us. Read with me. And this is Sahih Hadith. And here, even Arabic, it says, Muttafaqun alayhi. It's agreed upon. Agreed upon. There's no question about it. The angel, Allah will send an angel who breathed the life into it. Do you see it? Allah, Zibril, and Muhammad, the Trinity of Islam. Who is the one who breathed? Who is the one who gave you life in your mother womb? Zibril. And Zibril, he went inside your mother vagina. And he climbed all the way to your mother womb and then he breathed there. Do you see it? Is that the Christian prince making things up? Am I? And the funny, the Muslims, they call Jibreel the Holy Spirit. So he is Holy Spirit, but now he is inside your mother vagina. And he is the one who breathed life to you. So what Allah he do for a living? Now look, look, how that make us pagan? I just showed you that the one who created you is the angel. You don't worry, you know. If, if you are not a pagan, then you should not accept that anyone give a creation except the one you call him God. When Allah, he breathed into Adam, where he took his breathing from? He took it from the angel, according to Muslims. All the source of life, according to Islam, is coming from the angel Jibreel. And you are telling me how that make us pagan? Not to forget that you kiss a stone, you pray around a stone, you bow down in front of a stone, and even Shaitan, he is the cousin of your God, and he live in the same town, and you throw stones at him. It's a stone, stone religion, win, win. And that, that how that make us uh, pagan? Who is the one who give life? Who is the one who gave life to Adam? The angel. According to Muslim, not Allah. Allah, He made only the clay. Then Allah, He breathed the spirit. The Quran called Min Ruhina. We ask the Muslims, who is the Ruh? This Ruh. They say, Jibreel. 
Not me who says that. And the hadith in front of you confirm it. Though all the breed of life is coming from the angel Jibreel. How that make us pagan? Well, that's mean your God, he did lie to you and your prophet did lie to you and you lie to us. You keep saying the one who created us is Allah, is Allah, is Allah. And then we find that life is given to you as a child what you wear in your mother womb by an angel, not by Allah. And this is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim together. And this is very authentic, as you see here. It says, Muttafaqun alay, agreed upon, seriously, agreed upon. Which means not a single Muslim will dare to say, unless you are a fakira. You will say, I don't like it. As you see, like this is Sahih al-Muslim, al-Bukhari, etc. See it? <laughs> Even life, according to your cult, is given to you by the angels, not by Allah. Adam himself, his soul was not given from Allah, it was from the angel. Even according to you Muslims in the Quran, the one who created Jesus is the angel Jibreel. Even Jesus, according to your Quran, created by Jibreel, not by Allah. According to the Quran, Allah, he breathed the spirit, which is supposed to Jibreel, into Mary vagina. And even the Muslim tafsir, they say that the one who made it happen, it was the angel Jibreel. This is your religion, if we can call it a religion. And look how funny even how the baby is created. Total creation is 120 days. 40 as a semen, 40 as a dead blood, 40 as a lump. And bingo, you have a beard now. There's one story in the interpretation of the Quran. It says that a guy, he, his wife, she gave birth to his son. And when she gave birth to him, he was four years old. And he have a pubic hair. This is how stupid this religion is. And look now, all the Muslims, they are in chaos. What didn't know what to say. The angel, he breathed. I received the breathing. I received my spirit from an angel. And look at this, guys. The angel will write down his lifehood. Write down where? I mean, how stupid is that? Isn't it the Muslim, they say, if Allah wanted something to say to be, is going to say be? Why we need to write it down anywhere? <laughs> Allah, he sent the angel to write down. So the angel go inside your mother womb and he have a pen behind his ear like, a, you know, and the, he Allah, he, Allah, okay, I will write now, I'm ready. Okay, uh -huh. okay, he would do fornication in the date of etc. Okay, with who? With Zakir Naik, mashallah. Okay, Zakir Naik, he will have sex 
with Susu Karabarani, okay? And what about, yeah, what about when he will get paid? Uh, okay, he will get paid every two weeks, okay, plus donation from the Muslims, and then he will be, okay, destination, he will be wanted by the uh, Indian government. In the date, okay, Allah, I'm writing this. Which date, Allah? Which date? Okay, so he have to run away out of India before that date. Okay, this is the, this is what your prophet is saying. Even when you do fornication, Allah, he wrote your fornication. He did not choose to do for you know fornication. That's why the Muslim he don't feel guilty when he fornicate. You know this is Islam. Islam is the origin of fornication. Read carefully. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, which of necessity he must commit. Are you there? This is your religion. So when you say to me, Islam give a free will, if, 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 you know, my, are you a, are you a mental free will? Do we have any Muhammadan? This is why here when you see every day almost Muslims leaving Islam here I mean life for sure there's many they leave not they don't say but almost every day we go live we have Muslims denounce Islam because they see we show the proof we don't make speeches I'm not here a person putting my head in the camera and you know making speeches I here is a school here we have reference here we have a study here we have a proofs we don't make statements. We prove it. It's in the front of your eyes. Who dare to say I'm lying? This is Islam. Islam is just a stupid religion. And you know, if every one of us now believe that God, he wrote for us, all the sin we will do, which when we have to do. So why I will feel bad? I mean, I cannot even resist it. Correct? This statement actually is satanic because now I will feel relaxed and now I don't reject sin because it's a destiny. If I steal, it's a destiny. If I kill, it's a destiny. If I fornicate, it's a destiny. This is a satanic st statement to make a satanic person do satanic act. So he will not, will never feel guilty. He know now that he cannot stop it. This guy, he hide behind the screen and chat nonsense. Well, I am Allah. Prove me wrong. Allah in the Quran, he says, not only he hide behind the screen, he is wearing a veil. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he wear hijab and he don't speak to anyone except from behind the hijab? Well, I am Allah. Prove me wrong. I have shin. I have five fingers and I forget. So, and sometimes I do bad things. So I am qualified to be Allah. I mean, I need to do more bad stuff to like be like him. But I, I can, I mean, I can work in that direction to be Allah soon. Look what Allah, he said. It's not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him except by inspiration or from behind the veil. Do you see it? Is your God Allah is hiding? Here we go, my God, Jesus, he is not hiding. He came to earth. And he was not wearing a veil like your God. Your God cannot do it. Can he? I tried to talk to Allah, but always he is behind the veil. I tried to lift the veil, I saw his shin. If we ask the Muslims, why Allah he have a shin?
This is chapter 42, verse number 51. Any Muhammadan? So this cult does not have self-respect. This cult teach fornication, sleeping around, raving, stealing and lying, and even taking false oath because Allah will not take you accountable unless you mean it. So what is left in this cult to be good? A Muslim saying, who hurt you, bro? Thank you very much for saying that. Guys, so according to Mr. Round 6-4, I don't know what does that mean. If somebody speak against somebody in religion, somebody hurt him. Does that mean that your prophet was hurt? Because your prophet 1400 years ago, he is all over the place like a monkey attacking the Christians. The Christian, they never attacked him. Actually, they gave him refugee. He went to Ethiopia, they opened their houses for him. So I'm going to go by your logic. Do you think a Christian here hurt your prophet? How? There's a hadith says, Amma ibn ammi faqad hataka ardi. Regarding my cousin, he did rape me. Do you want to see it? Your prophet saying that. His cousin, he did rape him. But his cousin is not a Christian, so it cannot be the Christian. And Christian, they cannot rape you. If they do that, this is a, this is an, a, 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 like a, a big sin, and this is we go to hell. Especially Muhammad is a man, supposedly, even though he pissed like a woman. Muslims, I have all your prophet laundry. Be careful. This is why you don't dare to call me. All the laundry here, stinky laundry. And this is why all the Muslim, they don't want to talk about Islam. Let us talk about the Trinity. Okay, answer my question. The guy who called me yesterday, I mean, he made me sick. I was going to vomit. Can you please answer my question? Why are you running away from my question? You know, uh, Christian Prince, answer my question, okay? What do you tell us the question? Oh. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Anyone? I mean, this guy yesterday from Indonesia made me sick with the way he talk. I hate it when a man.
Oh, the sound is gone. Sorry, I, I touched the microphone by mistake. <clears throat> okay, I will go. I will go back from where uh, I was talking about. Uh, I remembered an Egyptian uh, joke. At, you know, in in Arabic, in Egypt especially, if somebody wanna like beg for something, he says "win nabi," "win nabi," which means for the sake of the prophet. Win Nabi. Nabi in Arabic mean prophet. Win Nabi, which means for the sake of the prophet. So the child he came to his mother and he said, Mom, uh, who is the prophet Bosa? She said, What what are you talking about? She said, Yeah, yeah. Who is Prophet Bosa? The mother she said, There is no such a prophet. His name is Bosa. Bosa in Arabic mean kiss. You know, like in the Egyptian accent, you know, kiss. So there's no prophet, his name Kiss. He said, no, no, there is. He said, who told you that? He said, my dad, he keep saying to our maid, when Nabi Bosa. <laughs> prophet, okay, for the, which means for the sake prophet, for the sake of the prophet, give me a kiss. <laughs> when Nabi Bosa. <laughs> so he went to the mother, he said, my dad, my dad, he keeps saying that when he speaks to the maid in the kitchen, he keeps saying to her, Prophet Bosa, which means he's asking her for a kiss, you know? So the mother, she said, oh, you, there's no prophet, his name is Bosa, but your father, he have a deal with me soon. Yeah, I'm going to give a kiss to someone else now. When Nabi Bosa. Any Abdul? From the followers of a prophet Bosa, Abu Kapsha, you are summing up Pakistan foreign policy strategy in the name of the Navy. <laughs> well, this all, all all Islamic countries is the same, you know. Inshallah. Inshallah, this is why they never accomplish anything. And if they accomplish, like now they are so happy, it's a football. But people are hungry, people are dying, people are homeless, people are leaving their country, crossing the sea to leave the country. But the Muslims, they accomplish something. They won a football game. Allahu Akbar. Finally, they did something. Unbelievable. And by the way, even that is against Islam because that is haram. Playing football is haram. And this is telling you that not even a single Muslim is a Muslim no more. Music, playing chess, playing games, all those things are haram, forbidden. Muslim, they can play only three sports, but not for the sake of the money. Riding a horse, learning how to swim, and learning how to throw the arrow. Anything else is forbidden. And not only that, the Muslim now they are, uh, you know, bringing thousands of people, bringing naked women. Actually, just today I posted in Patreon. I don't know how many of you uh, saw the video. Did you see the video, guys, in Patreon? Al Arabiya TV, they are going around recording uh, 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 European singing, women dancing. Uh, I mean, this is Saudi Arabia. What happened? This is Saudi Arabia. Brother. This is Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Dance, look at the night club. Look, Saudi halal night club. <laughs> you know, once I was. Uh, you know, at that time I was with the army, and there's a Abdul, 
uh, he's a civilian he's not like an army he you know because I'm an Arab so he go with me when I go for lunch so he go with me he go to the restaurant the same restaurant I eat in and then he said to the waitress or waiter whatever she will show up uh, every day he we come there he says I want halal pork so I said okay this guy obviously he don't care for Islam and he don't you know because he's making fun obviously of halal you know and he's eating pork so every day he eat halal pork I mean he don't change you know so uh, six months after uh, he asked me what are you eating what is this meat do good I said oh this is the same as you are eating but different style this is uh, khanzir in Arabic I told him khanzir he said Auzu billah, you are eating khanzir which mean pork I said you stupid are you are you making are you laughing now are you like are you kidding he said no 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 why you are eating khanzir I said you stupid donkey you are eating khanzir for the last six months isn't you every day come here and now you just order them and the dish in the front of you you told them I want halal pork he said yeah halal pork he said you stupid don't you know that pork is khinzir so this donkey he did not know that the word pork mean pig he thought pork mean like certain kind of meat you know like uh, the way it's made so six months he is eating halal pork and now he is shocked that I am eating pork. He said, how you eat pork? I said, you stupid, you are eating pork. And you told me a million times how yummy it is. Like he eat and he... And I thought, I thought, by the way, he's making fun of Islam. That's why I don't discuss with him his religion. Obviously, he's out of Islam already. And many times, actually, I laugh at his prophet. He didn't say anything. Uh, but now, suddenly, he is against pork. And he is eating pork in the same moment we are talking. He do not know. He don't speak good English. He do not know that pork mean you know pig yeah and he said you know by the way and I start making fun of him I said by the way you look like a pig now he said Billah, don't say that please don't say that I said don't you know aren't you the one who said to me when we discussed this you are what you eat aren't you the one who said that to me you are what you eat and you are eating pigs for the last six months so what are you now he said, I don't want to discuss this. Please don't, you know, don't, please don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> the Muslim, they say to you, you are what you eat, but they drink camel urine. And they swallow fly if it fail in their soup. And you are what you eat. <laughs> 